Tonight, baseball players at Sunset High School took the diamond, but they weren't just playing to win. Yeah, they were also playing in honor of a fallen soldier and old teammate for the sixth year running. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us now from the ballpark with a message from the soldier's father. Wendell Pelham tells me his son John was a baseball player in high school. Later joining the Army, he was killed in Afghanistan in 2014. Tuesday night, the American flags strung high. This game is for him. We're absolutely all in with this. The kids understand that we use baseball, kind of talked about using it as a vehicle for life. So this is a great life skill to honor our veterans, and uh, they're excited. This is a big event for them. We're just going to go out there, and we're going to play baseball the best way we know how to play it, and we're going to have fun today, and we're going to try to honor John the best way we can. Wendell Pelham wearing his son's high school hoodie with number eight on the back, admitting his son, John Pelham, wasn't the best student. I mean, everything I ever learned on child discipline, I tried. Nothing worked, and his son was going to come up eight credits short for his senior year. But the kid wanted to play ball, so he joined a program with the National Guard that helped him do what he needed to do to come back and make the team. And he needed to prove to himself and to all the naysayers that if you have the heart, you can do anything you want. America allows you that. He played through his senior year with what his dad described as a cannon for an arm and bat speed that could hit a ball a country mile. Going on and playing some college ball, he eventually realized it wasn't his calling. So he went to the coaching staff and said, I love playing ball. However, I need to do something different. And they're like, like what? John was to follow in his family's military footsteps. He made up his mind. And one day, Wendell saw his son's car sitting in the driveway, back from school unexpectedly. And so I walk in and go, what are you doing home? He goes, well, it's nice to see you too, Pops. How are you? I said, I'm great. What are you doing home? He explained he was joining the Army. And Wendell, well, he was all in, describing his son as an insanely intelligent goofball. He says he had an illustrious military career. But February of 2014, he got a call from his wife while he was at work. Two uniformed soldiers were on the doorstep and waiting to deliver a message, leading him to cut across rush hour traffic in record time. Don't ask me how, but I got in the left lane and all the cars moved over. He greeted the soldiers who pulled out a letter he'll never forget. The Secretary of the Army regrets to inform you and your family that your son John A. Pelham was killed in Capisa province of Afghanistan. He learned his son insisted on going into combat filling in for soldiers who were unable. John always was a warrior, always had a warrior mentality. He was killed in action. I look back at that day every day. That's how John, if he had to script it, would have died, was in a firefight, in a combat zone, protecting the country and protecting those around him. Now, Wendell says this memorial game serves as a friendly reminder to all of us. Freedom is not free. Freedom has an extremely expensive cost, not just in armament, not just in bullets, not in bombs, but in lives. This is true America. This is what it costs to be an American. For the sixth year, he couldn't be happier kids are able to take the field in his son's honor. Because we get to celebrate John's life and the gift he's given to all of us, which is freedom. Wendell's final message of the day, you've got a day that you're born and a day that you die. What you do in between is up to you, so make it count. From Beaverton, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.